hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to convert numbers to the text and in case you missed previous discussion about how to convert strings to the date and time object please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about python you can visit this weblands channel and especially go to this playlist and here you can see python tips available in this unique playlist and if you click over there you can see different topics available with the real test cases all right and if you need any support related python you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow that repository and we have some different social media pages make sure you can follow to get the latest notification and in case you want to support this channel using many ways buy me coffee paypal or using this join button so let's back to our main topic like how you can convert your numbers to the text so for that right now i'm trying to open this terminal and here the first thing is i'm right now i'm using python 3.10 which is latest version i guess and by default python is not supported that library which we are trying to use so first thing is we need to install that library okay so for that first thing is we need to install that library okay i already installed but let me show you how you can also install so for that like you need the internet connection then after you can use here the python 3.10 right now i'm using this one to execute any files from the terminal all right so from your side if you don't have a multiple python versions right now i'm using a different versions for different projects so that's the reason like i'm i'm specify here the version all right so don't confuse here and let's say if you already have a only one python version you can directly use the python all right no need to specify the version here so let's say 3.10 here and then after we have to use minus m pipe install and here we have to use like num2 words all right and after that it will automatically install this library but right now you can see here this one is already installed here and you can see the pip version they are saying like the pip version we are right now using this one and new version is also available so we can either copy this command to upgrade my pipe but right now i'm not doing anything related this library all right it's already installed and you can see here this is the path of this num2 words okay so right now i'm giving you demo in this terminal only but you can get the ready-made example in my git repository in the python file all right so three point let's say the 10 oh sorry and if you go to here in the terminal you can see this is my python version python 3.10.8 so the first question is what is the purpose of this library okay so whenever you are trying to uh, develop a such features right especially for the accounting purpose let's say if you are trying to generate a bills and you want to also add uh, numbers into the text right that time you can use this library so let's say i'm going to any of the i'm going to the restaurant and they will provide me the bill and the bill is like 100 dollar all right so if they will so sometimes what happened if you see in your bill also they will having the two things the one is the digit and another thing is the word right so i mean in the text they will convert so like let's say one One hundred only, something like this, right? Or one hundred dollar, like this. So, or else, like let's say you are trying to create a virtual checks for your for the customers or for the vendors, right? So that time you can also use this feature. So while you install the Python, during that time you don't see here that library okay and once let's say you already set up everything for the specific version right uh, i mean install and then after you are trying to do like import here let's say the num2 words import num2 words something like this and when you enter and during that time if having any com uh, 
import error right so you have to understood like that specific library is not installed for this python version so you have to double check all right so this is the basic thing and again you can see here we don't have any issue while we import right so we are good to go to convert digit to the text all right so the first thing is our next year is 2023 right so i will try to add one variable which is a 2023 all right i want to convert into the text so what i will do is like num to words this one i will use for example this one after that like in a bracket i will use here the variable of this digit or you can directly use here that is also fine and when you enter you can see it will return a string like 2023 so this is the actually purpose here all right now let's say if we are trying to add here current year 2022 and if you will try to enter you can see 2022 all right so like this way you can convert your digits to the text i mean in the string now again the thing is num to word is not only convert to this one if you are dealing with the specific currencies right uh, let's say the ruble uh, let's say the euro or let's say the usd okay so this library specifically supports some currency options also all right so for that like we can use here let's say this is my bill right now you can consider 2022 is my bill all right and i want to display as a currency badge so how you can convert into the bill so i want to just return this text with the bill right i mean in with the currency name so here like uh, it will also provide some other extra parameters all right so here we have to use currency equal to and in a single quote or let's say in a quote double quote or single quote that's fine and here you have to specify uh, let's say the currency name so let's say euro e u r so we have to also provide a specific uh, currency code all right so here it says the currency parameter is not valid all right so this is my bad actually so first thing is we have to use here too all right and we have to provide like this digit is we need to display for the currency purpose so for that we have to compulsory use this too for which purpose we have to use right so for that we have to use this too and i will let you know one more time like what is the purpose of this two parameter so right now we are using we have to display also the currency right so that's the reason like i'm using the currency here and again here i will use currency oh sorry the spelling mistake and here i will use currency equal to usd so you can see 20 dollars 22 cents all right and let's say if i will do something like this 2022 dollars and zero cents okay this last two digits it's convert into the cents and above the two digits you can see it will convert into the specific number here all right so let's say you want to convert into the euro right so for that you have to use the eur so here you can see it's a euro here you can see the dollars right now let's say i want to convert into the inr so you can see if this library support inr and then it will return otherwise it will throw the exception all right so it's support here inr okay let's say i want to convert into the australian dollars right so aud i will use like this and i will try to press enter and you can see it will convert into this australian dollars but again another thing is Sorry. so let's say 
another thing is let's say I will try to add here the specific currency code all right INR like this and if you see here this currency code is not recognized by this library so that's the reason like uh, it will throw such exception all right so when you implement this library make sure first thing is you can just check whether that currency code is available or not so I did a one mistake here what it is like I'm using here the lower case and here you can see everything is in the upper case okay so this point you have to understood now another thing is like what is the purpose of this two parameter so this two parameter is to use like this digit you know what purpose you want to use so there is a, some specific parameter also available here all right so you have to convert to use this digit to uh, which format you want to use so here by default 2 is a cardinal all right so it will display simple like this way now another thing is if you want to deal with the currency you can specify this is only for the currency right oh sorry currency so here the by default currency is the euro you can see here if you don't specify here any currency name all right so by default it will treat as a euro now the thing is if you want to deal with the specific year wise right you can use the year so you can see 220,200 uh, let me remove this one and you can see 2022 all right if I will use here the normal cardinal all right so you can see 2022 all right if I will use here the currency so you can see here 20 20 euro 22 cents all right another possible parameter is let's say ordinal 2020 second all right and if you want to add the number right so you can see like this 2020 like let's say the first second third fourth fifth like that right so let let's say one first second so like that way if you want to deal with right so you can just use like this now another thing is if you want to convert this one to the different languages languages right so you can use here lang g lang and by default let's say i want to convert into the arabic right so i will use the ar as a shortcut this is the short name of the language and i will try to let's say enter and it will return in the arabic but right now my terminal is not supported that language due to that you can see it will having a such output all right after that the by default it's a en en means the english one right then after let's say if you want to print as a french then you can just uh, try to just use the fr right you can see also this is the two right for in the english in the french you can see this dux let's say if i will use here ir if that language doesn't match it will raise this exception all right so it so you can see it's a dio so like this way you can convert your number to the respective format i mean in the year in the specific language or else like specific uh, currency you want to add with right so like that way you can use there is a multiple purpose not only the convert into the string but into the string it will convert into the different languages different formats all right so this is the purpose of this num to words library and if you have any doubt related to this library please comment below and see you in next session